Good morning, children of class 4A and B and C. Today I am going to teach you a topic on literature called Pippi Long Stockings. When Pippi entered Villa Velicula for the first time, it was a lovely summer evening. The children next door, Tommy and Annika, were not at home. They had gone to visit their grandmother for a week, and so they had no idea that anybody had moved into the house next door on the first day after they came home again they stood by the gate looking out onto the street they had no idea that there actually was a playmate so near they were standing there cons considering what they should do and wondering whether anything exciting was likely to happen or whether it was going to be one of those bo those dull days when they couldn't think anything to play and just then the gate of villa valley cooler opened and a little girl stepped on out she was the most remarkable girl tommy and anika had ever seen she was miss pippi long stockings out of a morning walk this is the way she looked her hair the color of a carrot was braided into two tight braids that stuck straight out her nose was the shape of a small potato and was dotted all over with freckles it must be admitted that the mouth under the nose was a little wide one with strong white teeth a dress was rather unusual Pippi had made it herself. She had meant it to be blue, but there wasn't quite enough blue dot. So Pippi had sewed little red pieces on it here and there. On a long thin leg, she wore a pair of long stockings, one brown and the other black. She had on a pair of black shoes that were exactly twice as long as a feet a father had bought her shoes for her in south africa